guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today is another vlog as I said in my last video. I realised, I just said to Jason I was supposed to be vlogging today and then I completely forgot until now. So I'll give you a little roundup of what's happened today. Oh, um, I got up early and popped out to get some last minute Christmas presents which Jason was very shocked about when I woke him up and said I was popping out. He didn't quite understand why I was popping out, but anyway. Was he um, popping you in the water? <laughs> yeah, that lady just carried on walking behind me. Even though I was quite clearly reversing. Anyway. Well, they left quick. I don't think I'll get there. Was it two? Oh yeah, maybe. So we've just met up with my dad and stepmum. So we've come to Merkin's Farm, which I showed you before when I came with my friend George. John. George. John. So we've just been there and it's now raining, but luckily... Oh, crikey, Ooh. there's a lot of hot holes. <laughs> um, so we've just been there, that's a nice lunch. I'll insert a photo that I took of our lunch. And then we also had the mighty hot chocolates that I've shown you before. So that was good, exchange of presents, nice to catch up with those guys. I can see you has. Yes I can. You can see my head. You can see, I can see myself, I can see my head. You cut off. Thank you Mr. Man, the lady. Um, yeah that was nice wasn't it? Yes. Nice couple of hours. Oh yes. <laughs> I had, uh, which you would have seen in the photo, I had uh, smashed avocado and poached eggs on a ciabatta. Jason, what did you have? Breakfast. Breakfast? Not sure what we're going to do for the rest of the day. Sleep. Do, yeah, you want to have a nap, don't you? Okay. Is there anywhere you want? To be fair, it's going to be busy if we go anywhere now anyway. I need to go through town. Is there anywhere you want to go? Not you. No, so why do you want me to drive through town and have a look about it? Do whatever you want. sat in traffic for 20 minutes when we're trying to get home. Jason had a nice little sing song. Anyway, we're home. Might put a film on or something. This isn't really focusing. But if you're going to have a nap, then I'll watch Towie. I don't know if I've mentioned this, but I've been watching old episodes of Towie recently from over the years. So I might put that on. What was I coming on here to say? Oh, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to change my um, strap on my watch. So my dad and stepmom got me 
I can't do this one handed, bear with. A, I asked for a metal strap for my Apple Watch for Christmas. So I'm gonna change that over, I think. I have a Christmas jumper on. I've got my Mickey Christmas jumper on today. I think that was in focus, I'm not sure. Apologies if it wasn't. But yeah, I've got my Christmas jumper on today. Jason doesn't actually own a Christmas jumper. Like, who even is he? Let me put this on. Okay, so it is complete. It's very dark in here, apologies about that. Jason's helped me with taking the links out. So this is it, it's got some nice diamantes on the side. Like that, and then it just goes around like that. So I like that. I am going to do a what I got for Christmas video, so I won't show you everything else that my dad and stepmom got me, but yeah, that's I'm liking that. It's nice to have it um, another strap on there, apart from the sports band. I just need to work out sizing, because this is still a bit loose, but we worked out that the other one would be too tight, so I don't want to cut off my bloodstream. So yeah, I'm watching Towie now as well. Okay, so please excuse the state of me, I've just come out of the bath, but... I realise I have been the worst vlogger today and I apologise for that. I feel a bit flustered talking now. I felt a bit anxious this evening. I don't really know why. Um, which it can go like that, obviously. I know I'm aware that lots of people suffer with anxiety. <laughs> suffer with anxiety so you would be aware of that. But yeah, I just felt a bit bit anxious, bit like a bit, <gasps> bit, that's how I would describe it, is how I felt this evening. So I haven't done any vlogging, I've literally just sat and watched old episodes of Tawi, had some tea, didn't have anything exciting again, couldn't really, just in one of those places at the moment, I've kind of spoken about this, but I'm in one of those places where I just can't be bothered to do anything and I hate it, I hate doing that because I like being productive. Never mind, sometimes you've got to take time for yourself. So yeah, I've just had a nice bath. I'm very warm now, because I always have a bath very hot, so my skin probably looks a bit red where I've just done my skincare, etc. brushed my teeth. But what I was coming to say is apology, number one is that apologies, I haven't vlogged anything this evening. I am gonna vlog tomorrow as well. And then number two is I'm gonna start my book. I keep giving you away giving away things that are going to be in my what I got for Christmas video and you're probably actually I should probably say this you're probably wondering why I've opened presents so this was from my friend Lucy who I I did mention this in the gift guide video that I did she bought me that now she wanted me to open my presents when I got home once she'd given them to me so I did that obviously if someone's gonna ask me to open my presents I'm gonna uh, open my presents um, so she asked me to open them and same with Holly, because I mentioned some of the presents that she got me in that video as well. Also, I've seen my other friend, obviously this is all COVID safe by the way, don't think that I'm not being COVID safe, I am. I saw my other friend Lou on yesterday, yesterday, so Monday, and she again wanted me to open my presents. And then my dad today, my dad and stepmom, because I'm sure anybody with separated parents will be with me on this. When you have separated parents, I know that I this has always been the way with me, you've kind of always had a second Christmas. So I normally see my dad like the weekend before Christmas or leading obviously leading up to Christmas like I have today. And so we exchange presents, open presents with each other so we can see each other opening the presents, etc. So that is just a explain bit of an explanation as to why I've already opened some Christmas presents but I haven't opened anything else yet. I'll just show you the room actually, before I talk about the book. So, we've got some presents going on over here. I've tried to sort them into piles. So this is Jason's family adults wise. I need to kind of cover this bit here. This is kids, ad um, Jason's nieces and nephews. This is Jason's niece, who we live with, little baby Evie. This is the two dogs, so Mowgli and Hugo, which you probably have heard me speak about so many times. So Mowgli is who we live with, and then Hugo is my brother's dog. 
this is Miss Georgie Parrish over here, which she hates that I keep showing this on the vlog because she hasn't opened it yet. Although by the time, so I'm gonna be dropping this off to her. So by the time that you see this, she might have opened it, I'm not sure. Then we've got my mum, stepdad, brother, brother's girlfriend, um, uncle, nan, aunt, and then these are presents I've been given, given that I haven't opened. <laughs> so this is my from my auntie and uncle. This is from my cousins and nephew. Uh, oh, and these are the presents from my dad as well. So that's a little tour of the current state of the lounge. I'm so glad that I've like tagged everything. I've done Jason's to start Jason's this evening. I've got a few bits left to wrap. Where, where obviously we live together right? and where we don't have very much space. I haven't really had anywhere to hide the presents. So they've been dotted around. Some have been here in the house. I'm not gonna say where they were because he watches these videos, but they have been in the house. Some have been at my mum's house. Some have been in my car. It was actually quite funny. I don't know if I mentioned this, but when we went to go and collect the Christmas decorations from my mum's, because again, where we don't have very much space here, like we do have space, obviously. We have the lounge and our bedroom, but we, as in, I mean, we don't have space to store additional things like Christmas decorations. So I've got something in my eye. Um, my mum stores them for us. So we went to obviously collect them when we put the decorations up and I realised that I had in my boots some of his Christmas presents. So I had to quickly pass them to my mum and tell her to keep them there until I was ready to wrap them. So she dropped them off the other day for me to wrap. Anyway, I'm digressing. I'm going to read, start reading my book, which is Calling Mrs. Christmas. Never heard of this author before, but Lucy says that she likes her books, so. Or she's heard good things. I think, I'm sure she said she's read some. I can't remember. But I'm gonna start this. I've decided, I'm just rambling at you. This is what happens. I just start rambling. I've decided, because in an evening, I watch TV. I just feel like I'm constantly staring at a screen. And I feel like my nan, she always reads a book before she goes to bed. Always, always, she always has done. And I love reading. So I think what I'm gonna start doing it's like half an hour, just half an hour before I go to bed, when I'd normally watch something. Because I, to be fair, I do normally, when I'm trying to go to sleep, I put something on in the background because I like the noise. My hair looks really light here. It's actually not. It's actually quite dark in person. I think it's just the light. Anyway, um, I like to have something on in the background. It's like background noise. So I'll just put friends on or YouTube video, anything, anyway. I think half an hour before I'm deciding to, to go to sleep, you know, like not just getting into bed. I'm going to start reading, so I'm going to start this. I'm hoping to finish this before New Year, so that'll be my little task whilst I'm off. So I'm going to give that a go. Like I said, I will vlog tomorrow. What am I doing tomorrow? I am seeing two friends, again, socially distant. Like I was saying, where, when did I say this? Was it in the on my Saturday vlog, so the last video you saw, I was saying that quite a few places near us are doing, I've put like outside features up so you can sit outside, because where we're in tier two, and we're lucky to be in still in tier two, I'm very, very aware of the people that have been changed to like tier four, so my, one of my best friends, Charlotte, who, doesn't live here, she lives away. I have mentioned her before because I've been to stay with her previously, but she has been moved into tier four and my heart literally breaks for her because she can't see anybody at Christmas. Um, so I'm very aware and I'm sending all my love to all these people, anybody that's watching this that is even in tier three is just struggling with what's going on and if your Christmas has been affected by it. Obviously aware that everyone's Christmas has been affected by it in the sense that it's now just the one day thing that you can do the bubbles with. Um, I was actually discussing this today because we are, I am lucky in a sense because even though my parents are separated, where my dad lives two hours away, um, it's not like I would see him on Christmas day. 
so I haven't got to worry about which parents I'm going to go to. We just kind of work it out between myself and Jason's family. My fa that didn't sound right. Me and Jason work it out between our families. Does that make sense? Anyway, um, we're just lucky that I don't have to think about. Obviously, oh, I can't get my words out right. I just mean that I I don't see my dad on Christmas Day anyway, so it doesn't affect the Christmas bubbles. But with having separated parents that could be an issue and I feel sorry for the people that have had to choose whether to see a parent or not. Or see, you know, you get you get my gist. Anyway, I was going back to what I was saying. Quite a lot of places around here have been putting things up outside so you can meet your friends or meet diff people from different households outside but still kind of undercover. Um, so I'm going to be doing that tomorrow. Be seeing my friend Katie in the morning and then my friend Megan at lunchtime. So I probably won't vlog them. I never this is this is my issue. Like I need to apart from Georgie, I never vlog any of my friends because I doubt they would want to be on there. But anyway, I will vlog as much as I can tomorrow. I'm not sure I might put this up on Christmas Eve. In fact I am gonna put this up on Christmas Eve because then I can vlog all of tomorrow. Anyway. I'm going to start my book now and I shall see you, oh wrong way around, I shall see you in the morning. Hello everybody, let me turn this heating down so you can hear me, okay. Back in the car again, I seem, I feel like all I do is vlog in the car at the moment. Can you even see me? Probably not very well. Apologies. Again, I need to get a mount. But, what am I saying? Oh yes, yeah, so I'm in the car again. I have been out for breakfast with one of my friends. And then I met up. Oh! Let me just concentrate getting at this junction. So as I was saying, I have been out for breakfast with one of my friends and then met up with another one of my friends. So I'll insert some clips that I took of where we were now. So I realised that I didn't actually um, tell you what I had eaten when I went for breakfast. So I had full English, but I wasn't that hungry. I don't know what it is about Finglishes, but I'm just not that keen. Like a, 
like a shed kind of thing. And I was under the impression that you could sit in it, because it's got like doors and windows and stuff in it. I was the impression you could sit in it if you're from different households, but they put up a sign saying you couldn't and there was no other table, so we had to go somewhere else. So we went to the lock for reference. I would have put it on the little clips, but we went to the lock-in for breakfast. And then I've just been to Avonfield Kitchen, which is at Avonfield Garden Centre, um, for a drink. Where am I going? This way, I'll go straight over. I don't know why I've gone this way. Um, for a drink with one of my other friends. Sorry, do you ever drive past somebody and just think, oh, I don't recognise you, but I don't know why. Anyway, I suppose that's what you do when you drive around, I'd say your hometown, but I wasn't actually, I'm just babbling at you. Apologies, I, I'm aware, very aware that whenever I vlog in the car, I just babble. What I was going to say is that I would say it's my hometown because I grew up here from when I started secondary school, but my actual hometown is in Devon, so it's a nice little history session for you, history lesson, history session of my life for you. What is everyone's plans for Christmas Day? This will be going up Christmas Eve. Oh, for goodness sake. Sorry about that. My phone keeps falling. I definitely need to get a mount. I will be on Amazon later on the look. What's everyone's plans for Christmas Day? This is going up Christmas Eve, as I mentioned yesterday. So that I can vlog the whole of today, even though I've not really vlogged much. But I did pre-warn you that I probably wouldn't vlog much when I was with my friends. Um, I'm going to my mum. For lunch, Jason's going to his sister's, and then we will swap, keeping in line for three households. So that'll be, as in, not we'll go to the other's families. I don't mean like we will swap and not see the other's families. God, it's so busy everywhere. This man's going to be looking at me because he can see me talking to my camera. There's so much traffic yesterday on our way back after I spoke to you after I vlogged after uh, we'd seen my dad yesterday we got stuck in traffic for 20 minutes for no apparent reason as well it was just volume of traffic it's a bit rubbish yeah i'm gonna pick up the leaf and mushroom now drop off these presents i'm not really sure what i can do for the rest of the day so jason's just come home from wrapping presents at his mum's there's some flowers for me he's a good little egg i did ask him what he'd done wrong <laughs> But he got me some flowers, bless him. My favourite, which is roses. So I need to put them in a vase now. Bless his little heart. I've just got Taui on, as usual, in the background. Finished. Oh, I think I've seen you in. No, I think you're okay. I've finished wrapping Jason's Christmas presents now as well. I will, I'm going to need to put his stocking stuff in his stocking, but I think I'll do that Christmas morning or Christmas Eve, which is only tomorrow. Sure. They've just announced. Oh, they've just announced the new tiers um, because some people are changing tiers after Boxing Day. And it's actually really funny because my friend Holly, who I work with that I've mentioned before, focus. Okay, um, she lives. Even though she lives literally like 15 minutes away from us, she actually is classed as Somerset, whereas obviously we're classed as Wiltshire. So she texts in our group chat, she's like, right ladies, we're going into tier three then. And then she was like, oh wait, nope, just me, just Somerset, not Wiltshire. So we are staying in tier two. That was my phone, apologies. We are staying in tier two. They are going into tier three. I believe that some other places are going into tier four. So they're moving up a couple of tiers. It's all just a bit of a shambles, isn't it, at the moment? Like I said yesterday, I'm sending my love to anybody that is struggling at the moment or is in one of the higher tiers and is really restricted on what you can do. Hopefully we will stay in tier two, but I wouldn't be surprised if they put us in a national lockdown in January, but we shall see. Yeah, just chilling. Right, I think I might read, I've got my book here. I might carry on reading it. Not quite sure. Like I said, Jason just got back from his mum, so I need to put my flowers in some water. This is a vet. Anybody that knows Jason, this is a very, very rare thing for him to buy me flowers. So I think in the time we've been together, which is about 
just under two years. We got together in March 2019. Um, I think he's bought me flowers maybe twice. One was for my birthday, so looking forward to putting them in a nice vase. Bless his little heart. Okay, so I'm editing this and realised I didn't end the vlog. Sorry. Yesterday we didn't really do much. We had quite a chilled evening to be honest and we've had quite a chilled day today. It's actually Christmas Eve, so the day that you're watching this. You can see a more like accurate colour of my hair now. It looked really light in all the clips that I've just edited, I'm not quite sure why. But I think we might get take tackle what <laughs> I can't speak. <laughs> I think we might get a takeaway tonight with Matt and Chloe, not sure. But yeah, hope everyone has a very lovely Christmas, whatever you are doing, and if you are in tier 4, or if you are not able to see any of your family this Christmas, then I am thinking of you. But if you did enjoy this video, please give it a big thumbs up, subscribe down below, and also follow me on Instagram, my handle is in the description. Apologies for probably quite a boring vlog, but sometimes it's just like that. Thanks for watching, bye!